Have you ever wonder why they name hurricane after people? For centuries in West Indies, the storms were often named after the saint's day they hit. Since the Catholic calendar had a saint's day for every single day, the system kind of worked. But it kind of got confusing because if the storm hit on the same day different year, the name kind of became complicated like Saint Felipe the first, Saint Felipe the second and so on. So the US began officially naming storm in 1953, first with the female names, then they added a male name in 1979 because using a simple name makes public warning clear and avoid dangerous confusion. Today, the World Meteorological Organization maintains the list of names for storm all over the globe. This list is alphabetical, but you'll notice they skip Q, U, X, Y, and Z because there is not enough common names starting with these letters. And all these names are reused every six years. But when a storm is especially deadly, its name retired forever out of respect. That's why you'll never see another Hurricane Katrina or Sandy. Let me know in the comments if you get a chance to add a name to this list, what that will be.